Hi, welcome back to Jesus Calling today with Minister Love and myself, Sandra. And we're today on lesson 37. And mm -hmm. today we're going to be um, talking about come to me and rest. Oh, mm. well, let's just do that right now. My life is fantastic <laughs> right now. <laughs> Or do we need some rest? Some rest, yes. But uh, yeah, you never know what's coming up in your life. Busy, busy. That's but, right. Uh, today, it's um, we're going to be talking about. Like last week, we were talking about peace. And mm -hmm. Today, we're going to be finding a rest. Yes. And, and we need to do that because we need to stay healthy. We need mm -hmm. to stay calm, and we need to take time to rest. Right. And what better place to do that with is with with the the Jesus our Jesus and his the Holy Jesus. Spirit and his dad because um that's the best place to be you mm -hmm. know in the comfort of them and and knowing that they're for you to protect you and guide you and help you and you can rest in them because mm -hmm. so much talked about in the bible to rest in them yeah. and so today we're going to talk about that and um, okay. it says um i am all around you to bless and restore breathe me in with each breath wow the way just ahead of you is very steep. Slow down and cling tightly to my hand. Here we go again. Hold my hand. Mm -hmm. I am teaching you a difficult lesson mm. learned only by hardship. And that is true because when things are good, we don't think about all that. That's right. right. We think about peace, rest, because it's good. That's but when right. things are hard, we definitely need to take his hand. We definitely need to find rest. So that we can continue to get through the hardship, mm -hmm. the troubled times, and to have a sound mind to be able to think. Because if you're not resting, your mind's going to give you some really bad um, answers, mm -hmm. and you're going to be not, not doing too well. So, so this is really going to be, uh, um, I think, a great lesson for all of us today. Mm -hmm. And so we're we're going to first um, go to Matthew 11, okay. uh, 28 and 29. And Minister Love, if you'd like to take us. Yes. Okay. Matthew 11, 28 and 29. And it reads, I love, this is one of my favorites. And Jesus is speaking. Mm -hmm. Come unto me, all ye. Notice he said, all ye. He ain't just talking to the Jews. Mm -hmm. He's talking to everyone, Jews, um, all nationalities. He says what? Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yeah. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. I, I like this scripture. Did you notice where, where is it, where is it, what part of us, because we're made up of three parts, right? We're spirit, we're soul, and we have a body. Right. And many of us, when we're tired, we normally think that we got to rest our what? Body. That's the first thing we go to. Oh, I got to lay down. My feet is hurting. My head is hurting. We think of the, the, the flesh part. But here, what I love, what Jesus is pointing out, he's talking about the what? Soul. Mm -hmm. And what is our soul? Our soul is our, our mind, our will, and our emotions. This is, it, this is internal. And so we got to find rest on the inside of us. It's yeah, I got to rest my body if I worked all day, but I really got to rest my soul because I think a lot um, dealing with people, other their issues. So when you got a, other people telling you their problems and stuff, guess what? That's entering mm -hmm. your soul and you now got to give your soul some what? Rest. Right. Mm -hmm. Cast that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Say like they say, you know, a lot of times when other people are having issues, they say, you know, you, you sympathize with them, so you mm -hmm. take on all their stuff. But mm -hmm. in essence, you're supposed to empathize. Exactly. You're, you're supposed to keep it out of you, where mm -hmm. you can have a good empathetic reasoning. Because exactly. if you take it in, then now you've turned it into how, how you would have handled it. Mm -hmm. And then you got other issues that aren't yours on top of yours. That's right. So then you're a mess. So mm -hmm. you have to learn that, too, on top of that. But. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, this is a really great lesson for all of us today to yeah. really um, decipher all the, these things that we're teaching today about sympathy and emphasize, empathy, empathy, and then rest and mm -hmm. for your, your, your body and then also your mind and your and your emotions. Because when mm -hmm. your emotions are out of whack, you can't do anything. You have to that's right. 
very bad judgment, very bad right. judgment. And you end up with anger, saying mm -hmm. things you wish you would have never said, and you can never take it back. That's right. You know, so you really have to just step back and sometimes even step out of your situation and then say, wow, how would I handle this? And then I need to rest in the Lord to calm down. And then um, he can guide you. Because a lot of times if you just shut up and be quiet, he's going to tell you, Sandra, he's going to say, Sandra, just be still. Mm -hmm. I'll, take care, I'll take care of this. Or all of a sudden when you're quiet and it rests with him, he will give you the answer. If mm -hmm. you just listening, right? Because we're supposed to listen mm -hmm. too. And he will give you the answer and you go, oh, wow. I didn't think of that. And then it's, you can handle it, you know? That's right. Mm -hmm. so yeah, because when you take on other people's issues, mm -hmm. you now, you now are forfeiting your rest. Correct. Because it's kind of like uh, 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 taking on somebody else's garbage. You know, your right. garbage can is already full. Now you got to take on their garbage stuff. And now it's full to, and you're like, okay, where do I dump this? Where do I dump it? And a lot of people don't want to dump it. They think they have to receive all of other people's stuff when you don't have to carry it. You'll mm -hmm. never have rest. You know, mm -hmm. all the money, you can have the best job. You can live in the best places, but that will not give you rest. Right. And you, you can't help those people either when it's all mixed up in your stuff. That's right. And and, and you can't think clearly because now your emotions are all in a turmoil. Mm -hmm. So you just step out, listen, right. and then, um, and a lot of times people just need you to listen. Mm -hmm. Not only just try to solve the problem for them. Sometimes right. you just need to listen. Just to and listen. So, Amen. And that's sort of like resting too, right? Yeah, there resting. you go. Yeah. Right. That's Versus good. Thinking you could solve everything. You know, we can't solve everything. Mm -mm. You know? mm -mm. Oh, we'll never get no rest. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'll be dead. <laughs> amen, amen. Amen. So, like the okay. second paragraph says, says okay. lift, lift up empty hands of faith to receive my precious, let's see, am I reading this right? Yeah. Receive thy precious presence, light, life, joy, and peace flow freely through this gift. When you focus, when your focus turns away from me, you grasp, grasp mm -hmm. for other things. You drop the glowing gift of my presence as you reach for lifeless ashes return to me regain my presence mm. and that is true because you're it's wasting good. your time sometimes we're really wasting our time trying to figure out stuff ourselves rather than just say you know like they would say god i give it to you i can't, yeah. I just can't do this right now my cup is full you know mm -hmm. and i need to give some of these things to you to help me <sighs> and so that's how you can rest while he's behind the scenes making uh things happen mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you're just sitting there going one day some you get an email or you get a letter or you get a call and that situation is now fixed exactly <laughs> you know? yes right? that's right and, and then you go wow thank you thank you that, mm -hmm. you, that you you put it in someone else's mind right something that you could not do mm -hmm. and, and they went ahead and did it and fixed it mm -hmm. and so it's just amazing when we just step back step back yeah. and Cindy let me just give a, a quick example I, I love it when uh when we first started doing our websites and you and, and uh you said you would call me up and you said I've been up all night trying to figure this out and I'm trying to do this and I just say give it up I just stop and you say you know what I'm just gonna ask the Holy Spirit and then you get your rest and then while you're resting your physical body because you're tired trying to figure it out yourself as you rest in the physical body now he's coming into your spirit and your soul giving you what you need and then what do you do you wake up the next morning you say oh minister love i got up at three o'clock and he gave me the answer right when you put it in his hands right it makes a difference doesn't it oh yeah i learned to do that first now right <laughs> see yeah i exactly. can't do this god you need to show me how to do this right for try to figure this out myself. Right. No. <laughs> exactly. I yeah. love it. Okay. And you had a little experience of that too, now that you're into the uh, technical world yourself. You, it, you, mm -hmm. you learned it also. If you just say, God, just show me, just show yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're going to okay. go to uh, First Timothy. Timothy. <laughs> Timothy. You need some rest. I, I really do. <laughs> First Timothy 2. Okay. Okay. Eight. Mm. And it reads. Okay. I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands 
without wrath and doubting. Wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is good because we know Paul was the uh, Timothy's mentor. Right. And so Paul has gone through a lot of things in his ministry work. Talk right. about uh, coming against persecution, coming against people that's doubting what Paul was preaching. If anyone knew about resting in Jesus, it would be Paul. And how did he rest? What is Paul telling Timothy? What is he telling Timothy and us today? What did he say? I will, therefore, that men do what? Pray. Right. See, when we learn how to pray, we can now get rest. We can now get that rest that we need because we're now giving our issues, we're giving our problems over to someone higher than us, someone that's that uh, uh, that created us, that knows our shortcomings, that knows our going in and out. So Paul is saying, if you pray, if you do that, if you get closer to the Lord, and He will guide you through what you're going through. That is true. That is mm -hmm. so true because yeah, I know. Um, there's a lot of things going on in my life uh, right now in my with family situations. Mm -hmm. And when I got in my car yesterday, I just said, God, I can't do this. I can't do this. So I just started praying and I started crying and I said, God, just help me. Yes. Uh, and then you then you start to rest because uh, now you're releasing that emotion. Mm -hmm. You're releasing it to the Lord and you're trusting him. Amen. And you're taking time to spend with him. And then everything's good. Then I said, okay, now... Get me where I need to get. Mm -hmm. Give me family mercies and let's get on with this day. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's just amazing uh, when situations arise that if you just stop and pray, mm -hmm. the um, the whole thing changes. Mm -hmm. The whole you know situation changes, or the the emotion changes, or the or the person that is mm -hmm. aggravating you changes, wow. and you just think, wow, this is great. This Isn't is great. it? Yeah. Prayer is powerful because yes. prayer is like a telephone form of communication. If I want to call someone or talk to someone about my issues, I have to what, pick up a phone and dial their number and call them. Well, it's different with God. I don't have to dial a number. I ain't got to pick up some uh, 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 equipment that man has made. I can just, wherever I am, I can just start talking to God, pray. Just pray to him. And he, like you were just saying, he's going to give you that rest. He's going to give you clarity of what you're seeking him about in prayer. And before you know it, the person you're praying for, their issue has been what? Resolved. All because you took the time out to what? Pray. Right. To just trust him and give it to him and rest in him. Amen. And then he takes over. That's right. But sometimes he just, he be, he be waiting, right? Mm -hmm. What we're mm -hmm. going to do. And so, okay, they're going to be stubborn. We'll just let them suffer a little bit longer <laughs> or dwell in it a little bit longer. But, you know, once he gets to know our temperament, you know, and then, then he starts saying, oh, they're learning. She's exactly. learning. Just give it to me. Just give, give it, it to me. me. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. So our last uh, scripture okay. for today is Zechariah 1, 3. All right. I'm going to if you'd like to finish that off for us. Yes, I will. Zechariah chapter one, verse three, and it reads, and we know Zechariah was a prophet. Therefore, say thou unto them, thus saith the Lord of hosts, turn ye unto me, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will turn unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. So here we got the prophet Zechariah, and we know the prophets had direct communication with the Lord, with God. And so what is God telling the prophet to tell the people? Turn mm -hmm. unto me, come unto me. You know, mm -hmm. I will direct you. What did he say? He says, I, he says, if you turn unto me, then the Lord said, well, then I'll turn unto you. Okay. It's kind of like when you make that phone call to someone, when okay. you make that phone call, you're hoping that that person pick up the phone and answer. So if they answer, it, now they're coming to you and now you're coming to them so you can now get a conversation going. Right. Yeah. Right. That's so good. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right. So that will conclude our lesson today right. mm -hmm. that um, we just need to rest in the Lord. Yeah. And we really uh, hope that you try to uh, do that in your mm -hmm. life. The next time a situation comes up to give it to the God, give it mm -hmm. to Jesus and say, it's too much for me right now. I'm just overwhelmed. So mm -hmm. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to step back mm -hmm. and, and I'm going to see what happens. Yes. And, and once you see that Jesus never fails you, he never forsakes you. He always mm -hmm. comes through for 
you. It may not be immediately, but it will happen. Mm -hmm. And then you can say, wow, this, that was great. And then you start incorporating that into your life. Mm -hmm. And the more you do that, the more rest that you can have. And, the, and then you build your relationship too with the Lord. And, 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 and like Minister Love says, you don't always have to just call people. You can, right. you can call him mm -hmm. anywhere, anytime, any place. And so we just and, hope and his really number is never busy. His phone is never oh, busy. No, there's no busy <laughs> signal. Yes. Or hello, this is a voicemail. All right. Oh, right. Yeah. That's <laughs> no, right. Never, never. So we just hope you enjoyed Amen. this lesson today. And we welcome you back for uh, next week. Mm -hmm. uh, lesson 38. Woo. And, uh, we're almost done. For almost. The calling um, for this year. And we just uh, thank you for checking us out on our website. Mm -hmm. on Source Outreach Ministries and also dot com and also our Bible Talk show on the YouTube channel. We just really thank you for supporting us thank and you. we welcome you back anytime. Our websites, everything, they're open 24-7. Mm -hmm. Just like God, they're 24-7. You don't have to leave a message. You just go in and start learning and listening and seeing what you can do to um, fulfill your needs to uh, have a better walk with, the, uh, with your Lord. Okay? Yeah. So thank you so much and God thank bless. You. God bless. Bye. Bye-bye.